Hello and welcome. And uh, today we're going to talk about the Z1 analyzer. And once you have loaded the lab, how you can manipulate the track map and the traces to see more detail uh, for the lab that you have loaded. So right now, I have a lab open uh, at SPA. And all I've done is open this lab. And I see the track map up here and then various traces uh, throughout the rest of the screen. So let's start with the track map. So the first thing I notice is that the track map is actually upside down from how I would like it. So if I click on this little black gear icon, I get this extra menu that comes up here. And I have these three arrows, uh, which allow me to flip left, right, flip up, down, or to rotate 90 degrees. So I can use those to adjust the track map so I get it, uh, so I get it how I want it to look. And in this case, this is how I like spots look, so that's how I'm going to leave it. Uh, I can also click this to get a 3D version of, of the track. And if I do that, uh, you know, it gives you a much better idea of what's going on with elevation. And SPA is known for its elevation uh, with huge uphills and downhills. And then also I can show my throttle and brake overlays on top of the track map. So if I click this, where the green is, it's I'm, on, I'm on throttle, and where the red is, I'm on brake. And the brighter the color, the more, it, uh, the more I'm accelerating or the more I am braking. So now with my track map how I want it, I can come down here and look at my traces. So when the lap loads, it shows you uh, the beginning of the lap all the way until the end of the lap. So if I hit play, I'll start at the beginning and I'll go all the way to the end. Now, if I want to zoom in on part of the lap, I can do that in several ways. So, for example, if I want to look at this first turn right here in more detail, I can left click and drag and then let go. And this allows me to zoom in. So here, I sh it's the zoomed in part of uh, turn one. And in this small thumbnail, you can see uh, what I'm looking at. The highlighted red section is where I'm looking. Now I can do this as much as I want. So if I want to zoom in again, just on my breaking zone, I can click from just before it and drag until just after. And then I'm zoomed in all the way to here. Now to zoom back out again, I just double click and I end up viewing the whole lap again. Now, another way to zoom in quickly is if I just double click on any of the traces, it zooms me into a 10 second interval on that trace. So right now, I'm uh, looking at 20 seconds through 30 seconds of the lap. And if I click the beginning and then click play, it plays me back just that one section of the lap. And at the end of the 10 seconds, uh, the replay will stop right there. So again, I'll double click to zoom out again. Now, the uh, one of the special traces is the steering. If I double click on the, steer on the steering trace, it will zoom into the corner that I clicked on. So as you uh, go through the track, you notice the trace goes up and down because I'm turning the wheel. So if I double click here, as an example, it zooms into this particular turn. And I can then play back just that turn and see what I'm doing. Again, double click takes me back out again. OK, so if I click at the beginning of a lap and I hit play, the timing is very good. It plays back in real time, and I can see what's going on with all of my inputs. However, if I zoom in, so let's zoom in to turn one, it's in real time again. But since we're looking at a much smaller part of the track, it goes by quite quickly. So I can slow this down by clicking on the play button again. So right now here I'm at half speed. Or click on again, one quarter speed, one eighth speed, again one sixteenth speed. And then if I click again, it goes back to uh, real time. So that allows me to look at my lap in very in detail at whichever speed suits the current conditions of uh, the zoom. So if I'm zoomed in a lot, usually playing back at a slower speed is better than if I'm zoomed all the way out. So thank you for watching this video. 
please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about the Z1 dashboard and the Z1 Analyzer software.